Robbie, obviously the, the your two legs are, are coming up next week. You've seen the, the first leg in Aid and Inverness. Inverness have taken quite a strong advantage. Do you look too much into that? Do, do you think Inverness was, should be the team? I was in at the game and, you know, to be honest, I think Inverness would deserve the, the two goal advantage. But when you look at both teams, both of them are very, very good away from home and not so good at home. So, you know, I was expecting that to happen. I think there'll be a tough one for Inverness up at up there, the United States falling away from home. So I'll go tomorrow and watch it, and then hopefully we get it goes to extra time, goes to penalties, and the tires got a wee bit. I mean, does does these games like affect your preparation at all? I mean, do you have like an idea of who you'd prefer to play? Not really, to be honest. We just wait and see. But what it does, it just delays your, your prep for it really. I mean, so we're working on both teams at the moment. You know, we've not got any of the players yet. We're waiting until Sunday before we do that. But as a staff, we're looking at both teams and making sure we, you know, as soon as we know what the result is, we know what we're going to do. For and how do you think the, the the players are doing? Obviously, quite a long season. You've not got a game this weekend, but obviously the, the games to come. Do, do they feel fit and, and ready? For yeah, I think they are. You know, looking at them, and you know, I spoke about it the last few weeks. The players that we brought in in January hadn't played a lot of football. You know, so they're actually just kind of gaining fitness as we got them over the kind of February March time, and I think they're, they're looking very fresh now and they're looking strong. And kind of how. Obviously, not many teams have, have made it up through for the playoffs. Livingston, of course, did it last season. I mean, do you see Dundee United as should they, should they be getting through the playoffs, or, or is this a, a real yeah, tough task? To, we have to prove it. You know, I think we're good enough to do it. I definitely think that, but we have to go and prove it over the course of four games. It, there's no doubt that will be tough. You know, you're playing against Ira Ear and Vanessa, who both beat us this season, right, right. and then you're playing against one of the Premier League teams that you know, have obviously spent the whole season in the league above us. So it's going to be tough, but I've full belief that we can do it because I think we've got a very good squad here. We've got a good group of players, not just football wise, but character wise, and guys that can handle that, these big games. Going up in the playoffs, the Chiefs the season's objective, which is to get into the Premier League. How does it actually mean to yourself and the player and the fans to get into it? Yeah, I think it's massive for everyone that said it was objective over the course of the last three seasons, to be honest with you. you know, we haven't managed to do it in the first two, so it's another chance we've got. We've got four games to do it. And I think it's more so for the fans, you know, they've had a difficult few years, you know, but the form of the team will continue to come. You know, it's been a really good home crowd again, a good away support, no matter where it's in the nest here. And it just shows that the belief they've got in the team. It's very difficult sometimes to focus other than on exactly the next game that's coming along, but with this setup here, it's the next two games that are coming along you've really got to focus on. Does that change your approach to the game? Not at all, you know, our main focus over the, the first game in the semi final, you know, and People are already starting to look and see who the Premier League team is going, but we can't take any focus on that at all. I mean, we need to make sure that the players are totally focused on that first game in the semi final, whether it be in the next, whether it be here, to make sure we get a result in that. And it's only the, the second leg of the semi final, and if we get through that, then our we'll focus moves on to the next game. But we have to make sure we don't get too carried away. Irrespective of who you play, it's going to be a long journey on Tuesday uh, to either Air or Inverness. Does that affect the game itself when you get out there? Yeah, I don't think so, you know. If, if you know, travelled quite a bit this season with some decent results. We're not in the next one, Ross County one as well, you know, so we know these journeys, you know, it's not an issue, you know, you're not you're not doing England or anywhere where you're travelling eight, nine hours, you know, it's two, three hours up the road, play the game and then get back down. So, you know, there's no issue at all with that. It's, it's, you know, we're just delighted to be involved in these games and make sure that we get a good performance. Mate. With some of the things that have been happening in football this week, it's certainly proved that you have to adopt a never say die attitude, and if you do, then you never know what's going to come. Yeah, it's been, it's been phenomenal for three days, you know what I mean? So, Man City, Liverpool, and then Spurs as well, it's been great. And then last night, you get Chelsea and the parent, the parent show as well. So, it's a uh, it just shows you, you know, that you know you're, you're never out it, no matter what the score is in football, and it's been a it's been a good time for football the last few days. But we hope that you know it doesn't come to that with us. You know, I think we can have enough to make it comfortable. Logan Chalmers started on Saturday, came off the bench uh, the game before. How has he developed over the, the period that you've been here at Tannadice? I've, I've been very pleased with him. You know, when I first came in, he was he was kind of running about the first team. You know, he wasn't he wasn't getting game time, but he was training with us. And then we had looked to put him out alone in January, but he picked up an injury. And he was out of, out of action for a few months and he's just managed to get himself back around about it and we felt that the game's recently an opportunity for him to get him in the first team, him and Mockery as well, and give them that little bit of game time that would be helping. And your message to the fans for the uh, playoffs? Just keep doing what they're doing, keep covering the numbers, keep supporting the players and keep pushing hard, hopefully we can do it together.